Hello, this is History Shorts with the Artifactual Scholar. Today, I'll be talking about the legend of the Angel of Hadley. During the 1670s, a conflict known as King Philip's War raged across New England. English settlers and Native Americans were locked in a bloody struggle for survival and dominance. The war was one of epic savagery and brutality as native warriors, led by the Wampanoag Sachem Medicom, or King Philip, attacked English towns and the English responded in kind. English settlements on the frontier were especially vulnerable to attack. In June 1675, the town of Swansea was attacked and destroyed by Medicom's braves. Over the course of the summer, several other English towns, including Middleborough, Dartmouth, Menden, and Darefield were attacked. Hadley, Massachusetts was another one of these small, isolated English frontier towns. Located along the Connecticut River, Hadley was on the extreme edge of English settlement. It's at this point, during the turmoil of 1675, that the legend of the Angel of Hadley is set. As the story goes, the residents of Hadley were gathered in their meeting house when a mysterious, bearded, elderly man burst in to warn of imminent native attack. The bearded stranger set about directing the defense of the town, and then, as suddenly as he had appeared, he vanished, never to be seen again. The townspeople, who could not explain where the stranger came from, believed that God had sent the mystery man to protect them, and the legend of the Angel of Hadley was born. So who was the mysterious figure? The answer might be found in an earlier episode of English history. In the 1640s, England was torn by civil war. Parliamentary forces led by Oliver Cromwell fought against the armies of King Charles I. In the end, Cromwell's roundheads were victorious and Charles was arrested and tried for treason. In January 1649, King Charles I of England was condemned to death by a commission of 59 judges. For the next 11 years, England would be ruled as a commonwealth headed by the Cromwell family. Then, in 1660, the monarchy was restored. Charles I's son returned from exile and ascended to the throne as King Charles II. Immediately, Charles II set about seeking revenge on the regicides, those who had condemned his father. To escape the king's wrath, many of the surviving judges fled from England. Several went to Europe, and three of the commissioners fled to New England. One, John Dixwell, fled to New Haven, Connecticut, where he lived under an assumed name. The other two, General Edward Whaley and Major General William Goff, fled first to Boston, then to New Haven, and finally to Hadley, where they were given shelter by the town's minister. There, they remained in hiding. It is thought that Whaley died in the early 1670s and was buried in an unmarked grave, but Goff was still alive during the period of King Philip's War. By the 1760s, published accounts of the war included the tale that the mysterious stranger who saved Hadley was in fact Goff, who left his shelter, organized the defense of the settlement, and then went back into hiding. Was William Goff the savior of Hadley? Did this convicted regicide, a wanted man, emerge from hiding long enough to defend the small frontier town? The historical record is divided as to the truth of the legend, but it does make a great story. This has been History Shorts. Thanks for watching.